Hey, Chris Cantelmo here with another Daily Vibration. And I was just thinking about the Grateful Dead again. And uh, God, I've got so many great Grateful Dead stories. So this one is about my backstage pass adventure up at Shoreline. And I think it was like, what was it, 80, 89 or, I don't know, late 80s, early 90s. Probably early 90s. Okay, so my friend from Yale, Peter Klein. Now this is the very same Peter Klein who was CFO for Microsoft for a few years. And uh, Peter is suffering from Parkinson's. He's doing well and I wish him the best. I haven't heard from him in a while, but anyway. So Peter's mother-in-law living in Jackson Hole, Wyoming had gone to a silent auction to raise money for the local schools or something. And John Barlow was a resident of that town. John Barlow is a songwriter with the Grateful Dead, worked mainly with Bob Weir. Barlow had donated two backstage passes for this Grateful Dead show in Shoreline. I th actually, I think the backstage passes were could be used at different shows, but we just had to tell him which show we could make, and then he, he arranged for the backstage passes. So, uh, of course, my, and my friend Peter Klein is like me, just a fucking crazy deadhead, just loves the dead. All, when we get together, all we do is talk about the dead. We just bore the tears out of our friends and neighbors. So anyway, um, so we get these backstage passes and, and you know, where, where do these Yale dweebs? We, we don't know if we're gonna fit in backstage and we're nervous. We don't know anything about the backstage thing. So we get there and get there early, of course, and we go in and we get, show our passes, like we're important people. We get ushered to this backstage area and uh, it turns out it's not really that good. <laughs> You're, you're like behind this, you're backstage. Like it's very different being backstage than on stage. On stage is a very nice place to be. Everyone wants to get on stage. We were backstage. So like there was no view really of anything. And there was a, a little almost schleppy uh, layout, a catered thing. You know, you could get your coleslaw, your pickled mushrooms or whatever. And uh, so we're standing around there drinking, I don't know, a beer or something. I think we had to buy beer back there. Yeah, we did, you had to buy it, everything. You had to buy everything. So uh, we're standing around and David Gans from the Grateful Dead Hour showed up, sort of like, I mean, he was the walking definition of a socially awkward person. I love his radio show, but yeah, he was, I don't know, maybe he was really chipping hard that night or something. We said hello and he just sort of went mm. and left. And. Um, so then uh, we meet up with John Perry Barlow, who was so gracious, and uh, God, I love that guy. You know, we always wore that um, that bandana, and uh, so he had that sort of elegant cowboy style. And uh, he was a great songwriter, obviously, and a very great leader in the in freedom of the internet, freedom of uh, uh, I'm, I'm forgetting his very important uh, the name of his very important entity uh, but I'll remember it so anyway we got to talking with John Perry Barlow he was very nice and told us to, if we were ever up in uh, Wyoming to please stop in and visit him and and uh, uh, so so but but Peter Klein and I get a little bit bored with this backstage area we feel a little bit chipped so we noticed this gate closer to the stage between us and the the true back of the stage, we realize, okay, hey, you know, I th think we could probably get in that gate. So we, we go over to the gate and we, sure enough, it's open. We just kind of look around and, and push through. And, and then it's sort of this big, oh, really quite empty area, maybe about a hundred feet wide between us and the back of the stage, which is covered. You can't see anything. You can't see the stage. So Peter and I look at each other like, okay, and we're just walking along this path. It was almost like a mini golf path. It felt like a, just a, kind of a weird little area back there. And, um, but we see this path is sort of leading towards the, uh, the part of the stage that we might be able to get up there. So we're walking along and, um, and here comes Bob Weir walking now from the backstage towards this, that little dumpy um, catering area. So Pete and I look at each other like, oh shit, that's Bob Weir. And we're, <laughs> we're trying to act nonchalant. And Bob comes by and he, I think he realized we were in a place we weren't supposed to be. We, were, we stuck out like sore thumbs. But Bobby, being Bobby, instead of saying anything, he just looks up and, and looks up and, and walks past us, basically saying, hey guys, you're busted, but I'm not gonna say anything. Just don't cause any trouble type look. You know how Bob Weir operates. 
So Bob goes by, he's taller than, than we expected. Like I had never been like foot to foot with Bobby. He was, uh, he was, it was interesting. So then, so then um, uh, shortly after that, Bobby probably had like this remote signaling device in his pocket or something. Cause about 30 seconds after that, this, uh, this security guy sort of appears out of nowhere. I was like, guys, I don't think you're supposed to be back here. Pete and I look at each other and like, oh, we're, we have these backstage passes. This is not the place. And he's like, yeah, okay guys, back. So he kicks us out. And then, uh, so we sort of like linger around in the catering area for a little while. And then we decide, okay, we're gonna make another run for the stage. Like, what do we have to lose? You live once, what are they gonna do, kick us out? So we go through that little fence there again and we're amazed that the security guard isn't watching. And we're like, what does, you know, let's, let's go for it. So we move a little faster this time. And we get a little closer to the backstage area before the security guard shows up again. Apparently he was on to us. But you know, it being a Grateful Dead show, they didn't like beat us or anything. The guy just came up and said, you know, we've spoken about this before. <laughs> Pete and I said, yeah, okay, we have. And we like put our tails between our legs and, and went back to, and got another cup of coleslaw. And, uh, and then we went inside and watched a great, great Grateful Dead show. We miss Jerry, we love Jerry, we love the Grateful Dead. Hi, Bobby, hi, Phil, hi, Billy, hey, Mickey, hey, Brent. Oh, Brent, you're up there, I love you. Chris Cantelmo with another vibration.